My name is Gareth Gibson, uh, and it's a pleasure to be here. So this presentation is called A Catalyst uh, for Success, Transforming the Utility Field Operations with Trimble GNSS Technology. I want to start with an image. This is a photograph that was taken in 2010 uh, in a city called San Bruno, uh, which is just near San Francisco. And this is the aftermath uh, of a gas line explosion. The result of this explosion meant that eight people lost their lives, dozens of homes were destroyed, infrastructure was heavily damaged, and in, uh, the society uh, and the, the community around San Bruno was greatly affected by this, both in terms of logistical impacts, but also the emotional distress uh, of such a major event. Why am I showing you this image? The reason that that explosion happened was due to a lack of accurate information, a lack of accurate location data, as well as a uh, lack of accurate informational and attributional information uh, about the location of that line, uh, which ultimately uh, resulted in uh, substandard infrastructure uh, and also people uh, performing activities in the field that led uh, to damaging that, uh, that infrastructure accidentally. So accuracy of your asset data really, really matters uh, in terms of ensuring safety of lives uh, and uh, well, in avoiding disruption uh, uh, in the community. It's particularly interesting in the utilities industry, I think, because of the amount of rapid expansion of utility infrastructure that is happening in the world today due to increasing uses of electricity, increasing demands uh, for the use of, of water and gas and telecommunication services, overlaid with the fact that a large, large amount of the infrastructure in the world is aging. It means it's degrading. Uh, it's often uh, not even known where the infrastructure is, especially when it's located underground. And so it's, mo it's more important now than ever before uh, to have accurate information uh, about those assets so that you can basically know where to go to do the work, to connect things together, uh, and how to, how to uh, improve or expand your infrastructure. This is combined with uh, an ever-increasing amount of regulatory, regulatory demands on utility asset owners, both in terms of paperwork, in terms of the compliance that is required uh, to construct, install, uh, and operate these types of infrastructures. Uh, multiple different instances of different types of uh, documentation requirements uh, that are required to improve traceability and trackability of what you've got and where it's going in the ground. Uh, and just in terms of enabling sharing of information as well between different types uh, of, of asset owner. Especially in a, a location like Europe where infrastructure will tend to cross borders uh, geographically, um, it's, it's more important that the data that you have is able to be easily shared uh, in, a, in a standardized uh, and auditable way. This is all leading to somewhat of a digital transformation in the industry. 10 to 15 years ago, it was not uncommon for all asset infrastructure to be uh, constructed in the field, leveraging and relying on paper maps, uh, which ultimately meant that there was a lack of information, a lack of data uh, about what was being built and where it was going. Processes were very, very slow in terms of infrastructure going into the ground to then getting that infrastructure into uh, a digital environment. Uh, sometimes weeks or months of, of time would pass uh, before the work uh, was able to be signed off or the system of record was fully updated with uh, accurate information uh, if it was even available. And so how is that now happening? Basically widespread adoption of different types of geospatial technology has become the norm in the utility sector. Whether you are a contractor, whether you are an owner, I think everybody is now relying on geospatial capabilities uh, to assist with the, the mapping of assets, uh, the construction of assets, using digital technologies to assist with the planning uh, of new infrastructure, as well as the ongoing operation and maintenance of those assets. And that begins with getting high accuracy information as those assets are constructed or in that initial phase of planning and doing the design. Software technology, GNSS technology, uh, mobile scanning technology, as you've seen from some of the presentations earlier, all exist and are all heavily used in the industry. However, 
it's not always that simple. You can't just deploy technology to the field because some of this uh, type of technology is complicated. Uh, it's the, the increasing demand for high quality data often, re often requires specialized skills and knowledge and capabilities to use, uh, to use that technology. Because of that uh, high demand for skills and the lack of, relative lack of demand of uh, expertise, uh, you end up with bottlenecks for resources uh, for those engineers and survey types to go out and take it uh, and do the data capture work. The increasing requirement around regulatory information is also making things more complex. The risks associated with getting that wrong are also more challenging. And basically, it, it leads to higher costs overall of actually doing the work and putting infrastructure in the ground. And so there has to be an easier way. The increase in effort and time uh, is impacting costs, adding more liabilities, and basically leads to even more delays and public disruptions when things take longer to do in the first place. What Trimble uh, has done and, and what we've tried to do with a product which I'm about to talk about is to try and solve these problems by democratizing access to high accuracy information in the field. We believe that uh, access to RTK technology should not just be the domain of the surveyor or the engineer. And in fact, anybody who is performing field work should have ac access to high accurate, highly accurate tools uh, and workflows uh, in a way that is simple easy and affordable and able to be rapidly deployed across a large number of users. So we wanted to simplify GNSS technology for non-experts. We didn't need it, we didn't want it to be just the domain of the surveyor or the geospatial professional. We wanted to make it affordable enough to be used in almost any workflow that requires precise positioning. So whether you are a contractor who would normally be digging, uh, digging with a spade or using a digger, uh, whether you're a golf course designer, whether you're a you know, any other form of person working in the field with physical objects where accuracy could be valuable to you, we wanted to make it accessible. We wanted to make a tool that was flexible enough to meet the needs of every user. You shouldn't have to pay uh, for the highest level of accuracy if that's not the level of accuracy you need. You should be able to pay for a lower level of accuracy and, 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 and easily scale that solution. We wanted something that was small and light enough to fit everywhere, something that you could fit in the glove box of your vehicle, keep in your tool belt, uh, we wanted something that was scalable enough to work for individuals as well as entire companies. So we know that there is a large number of organizations out there that are individual operators. There are also many, many large companies with hundreds and hundreds of field staff. It's not typically going to be practical to deploy a high-end RTK GNSS system to an entire field workforce uh, at the price points that these types of devices normally command. But we also wanted to create a solution without compromising performance. It needed to have the precision, the productivity, and the speed of operation of a very high-end GNSS solution. And this is the product that we have released into the market, and we are seeing interesting results and adoption of GNSS technology by a completely different audience of users uh, than we've had before. And this is a product called Catalyst, uh, and this is the DA2 GNSS antenna for the Catalyst service. So, the DA2 GNSS receiver is an extremely low cost piece of hardware and it's extremely lightweight, less than 300 euros for a digital GNSS antenna and receiver. It relies on and is uh, enabled by a service, a catalyst service. So this is pay for precision. You simply subscribe to the service to get the accuracy that you need. Everything uh, that is required to achieve accuracy with this product comes as part of the service. So in a fully integrated uh, GNSS antenna and receiver combined with a very low cost and easy to manage subscription where you dial the accuracy that you require from one centimeter to 60 centimeters and all of the correction services come as part of that service. There's no more configuration required. It's just a tell me what accuracy you need and we will deliver that for you uh, as needed online or offline. As I said, the DA2 antenna itself is extremely small uh, and light. It's 130 millimeters diameter. It fits in your backpack or your rucksack. It fits in your car. It's extremely light at only 330 grams, but it's still rugged uh, and it's IP65 rated and it's mil-tested so that it can withstand the rigors of day-to-day -day operations. It's enabled by Trimble 
ProPoint GNSS technology, which is our proprietary engine for enabling highly precise GNSS operation in more challenging GNSS environments. So multi-path mitigation uh, and enhanced ionospheric signal uh, detection uh, to, to generate the most accurate and precise position possible in a very wide range of environments, whether that's uh, urban canopy or tree cover. One of the main enabling technologies of Catalyst is a service called the Trimble Corrections Hub. Trimble has a worldwide uh, correction service called Trimble RTX. We also have a range of uh, uh, VRS uh, installations around the world. The Trimble Corrections Hub is able to determine uh, where the user is in the world and then apply a, a GNSS correction to the receiver uh, as best suits uh, the user's requirements and the accuracy that they have subscribed to. It also enables uh, a very flexible transformation of uh, coordinate systems and, and integrates uh, the corrected signal very simply and easily into the workflow application that you're using, whether that's a Trimble application or a third-party application from one of our business partners like ESRI uh, or many, many others who are also leveraging and integrating Catalyst technology into their solutions. So the simple workflow uh, across any uh, industry is something w which looks uh, pretty similar to, to this uh, diagram here, where you are in the field. This is where you do your data capture using field software of your choice, uh, whether that's an Apple application, an Android application, or a Windows application. Once that data is collected, you can process that data and extract the real deliverables that you need uh, in the office. You can transfer data from the field to the office through the cloud or through offline uh, processes as required, and then extracting and delivering that information into the system of record, whether that's an asset management system, a risk assessment tool, or a project management tool, depending on where you are in your asset lifecycle. Uh, there's many, many different ways that this technology uh, can and is being used. So we have a simple, precise, centimeter accurate GNSS uh, antenna compatible with all sorts of applications, and delivering on all of those things that I described that we were trying to achieve. Simplicity, ease of access, ease of use, affordability, uh, and uh, scalability across teams of any size. I want to give a couple of examples of how uh, Catalyst is enabling transformation uh, of field workflows and field workforces uh, in the utilities industry. So people's natural gas is in Pennsylvania, Kentucky, and West Virginia. In the United States, they're a, a typical gas utility uh, provider, uh, and they're responsible for oh, hundreds and hundreds of, of miles of, uh, of gas line in those, in those areas. They're a great example of a utility that is undergoing rapid uh, and significant expansion of their network. 650 kilometers of additional new pipelines are going in per year. They were relying on legacy paper processes around their construction as built to get sign off from their contractors that the work was done on time to spec in the right place, uh, taking 90 days at times to go from gas line installed in the ground to, uh, to close out. As per many of, uh, of the utility industries, again, people's gas were uh, mandated to use uh, many more uh, documentation uh, or admit, there's a, a high amount of admi administration overhead and documentation required to install uh, to install their gas lines and so they were they were struggling under the weight of all of the paperwork that they were they were forced to to generate they were able to deploy uh, in a very cost effective way 120 GNSS RTK systems into the field uh, by adopting uh, Trimble Catalyst and were able to give this to all of their inspectors and all of their installation crews for the various aspects of their field uh, workforce. Whereas previously uh, they would have uh, only been able to deploy a small number of units uh, to, uh, to specialize crews, Trimble Catalyst combined with I think ESRI uh, field maps uh, was able to, to, to make their whole workflow extremely simple and extremely accessible and usable by a much larger range of users. This is a quote uh, from Scott Ewart at People's Gas. We now have a fully digital solution that almost anyone can use. It streamlines data flow between the field and the office, 
and every asset going into the ground is tagged. Our old 90-day process is now down to 15 days with even more streamlining possible in the future now that everything is already digital. This is a quote uh, from Scott and is very typical of the types of results that these types of organizations can see by deploying GNSS technology en masse uh, to large numbers of users. Here's another, uh, uh, another example. So We Energy is part of the WEC we, -E Energy Group uh, in the United States. Uh, again, uh, a utility organization that needed to digitize and modernize their field processes. They are expanding their fleet of workers. So they were already users of technology, but they were using a, a legacy system uh, from the early 2000s. And they required a solution for as-built verification and field inspection activities of pipe placements, valve installations, and inspections, uh, as well as track and traceability. So a pretty similar use case to the first one that I described. And as I said, they were previously uh, a users of, a, of an earlier generation Trimble product called the Geo Explorer uh, from the early 2000s. But these devices had become, I guess, no longer tenable in terms of the technology that they were using, and they were needing to be replaced uh, just through simply age. Again. DA2 was the solution that they arrived at, and this is an even larger installation of 400, uh, 400 GNSS receivers applied across a single, uh, a single workforce across multiple regions. Trimble Catalyst has enabled rapid deployment across a wide geographical area for We Energies. Because the system works seamlessly with their current software, it's enabled more direct integration with their database and system of record. Uh, than the legacy platform that, that, that has been replaced. So again, modernizing the technology and making it available to an even broader range of users is all about increasing the productivity, the profitability, uh, and improving the service that these types of organizations can provide uh, to their stakeholders and citizens. So there we have it. That is the Trimble uh, Catalyst uh, solution, uh, trying to achieve everything that we see on the, on the, on the slide here. Uh, rapid to deploy, easy to understand, integrates uh, with almost any software workflow and system, scalable and flexible uh, and usable from anything from an hour at a time to a month at a time to a year at a time. So many, many different uh, subscription-based options for paying for what you need. A $300 antenna uh, and a $10 an hour service, for example, uh, can put RTK-level precision in the hands of hundreds of users uh, in minutes. This type of technology, and RTK uh, in general, uh, is really enabling accuracy across the entire asset lifecycle. So whether you're in the capture, uh, sorry, in the, the plan and design phase, the build and deploy phase, the operate and inspect phase, or the maintain and replace phase of the asset lifecycle, GNSS RTK technology has its place here. Uh, enabled by a geospatial process of capturing, processing, extracting, and then delivering value or deliverables to the organization. And with that, uh, my talk is, is done, and uh, I invite the moderator back on the stage. Thank you very much.